subscribe to our channel for latest video series on gain UGC net and more. Also press the bell icon so that you never miss an update on any latest video. For more information you can visit our website or call on the numbers below. Okay, so uh, hello people. We already looked at some basic signals, unit impulse, step and ramp and we've discussed that all these signals can be expressed as differentials and integrals of each other. So uh, in today's lecture, we're going to look at how we can express the, uh, them as uh, differential or integrals of each other and also how to solve some questions related to them. Uh, so we are starting with unit step. See, uh, how are we able to express, as, as express a unit step as differential of unit ramp or integral of unit impulse? We are representing unit step as, right, this is the definition of unit step that we are using. Now see, whenever you are having any function, any uh, y of the form mx plus c, this is the a definition of a line this is how you're representing any line in y x plane x y plane okay so when you're differentiating this y when i am differentiating this y with respect to x differentiation of this m x is going to be m and differentiation of this constant is zero so when i am differentiating a line what i obtain is its slope okay that is why we say that differentiation of a line gives it slope now look at the definition of ramp function RT. We define ramp function like this, right? This is what we gave the basic definition of a ramp function as. Now see, when you are just differentiating this function, when I differentiate this ramp function, what do I obtain? See, this RT was defined as T for all values of T greater than or equal to 0. When you are differentiating T, you are going to obtain 1 for all values of t greater than or equal to 0 and it was already 0 for values of t less than 0 so this is going to remain as it is. See this definition matches exactly with the definition of ut that is why we are saying that this ut function is differentiation of ramp function unit step function can be obtained by differentiating a ramp function now suppose we are having a ramp function which has slope other than one okay which is having some different slope some other slope then what are we going to obtain we are going to obtain a step of different size that is we are not going to obtain a step of one step of unit we are going to obtain a step of different size only the step size is going to change according to the slope of ramp function also if this ramp function is shifted then the uh, instance of slope change is going to tell you the uh, instance of step change okay that is how it's working now see this is how we are defining unit step if i just differentiate this signal differentiate means see uh, this function is only a step change only a discontinuity right this is only a discontinuity at t is equal to zero nothing else it does not signify anything else so to represent a discontinuity when i am differentiating the signal i am going to obtain unit impulse see impulse is just representing a instance of time it is only representing a change in time only it, it occurs only at t is equal to 0 and having value infinite infinite value means signifies that this function see this function jumped from value 0 to 1 so when i am differentiating this signal when i am when i try to find what am i going to obtain i am going to obtain unit impulse unit impulse function where change in step is going to define area of the impulse okay size of the impulse see impulse is having value infinite okay so we cannot comment about the value of uh, impulse although we can just comment about the area under the impulse function generally we consider the area under the impulse function as one that is why see uh, we've already talked about this i guess Impulse is existing only at a single point of time. So you cannot talk about its area because uh, for defining area of a signal, it must exist between two unique boundaries of time. This impulse function exists at a single point of time. So we cannot define its area very clearly. So we're just considering the area of this impulse function as one. Uh, we've talked about this, I guess, that we consider that it is existing between two boundaries where the two boundaries can, are considered to limit to zero, okay, approaching zero. Fine. So, we considering that this differentiation of this unit step is going to be impulse. So, whenever you are required or uh, 
you you want to find uh, derivative of a function derivative of a graph what are you going to do suppose the graph consists of straight lines when you're going to differentiate that uh, graph what you're going to obtain you're going to obtain steps and if this uh, graph consists of steps when you're going to differentiate it you're going to obtain impulses okay so we're going to look at the example now so we're given a function, we are given a graph which looks like this and uh, you're required to find the integral of this graph. So I'm going to do it uh, both graphically as well as by representing the function. So if I just try to represent this function using impulse signals, what I can I write? See the value of these impulses, value of uh, this, these numbers are representing area under the impulse and this area under the impulse is going to be the coefficient of the impulse function when I'm going to write it as a function in the form of a function. So suppose I consider it as ft. So I can write ft as this is the impulse of area 3. So this is going to be written as 3 into del. This is occurring at t is equal to minus 1. So I'm going to write it as del of t plus 1. This is the impulse of area minus 5 del t minus 2. And then I'm having an impulse of area 9 del t minus 6. Now see if I just try to integrate this. Okay, I'm going to integrate this. What is going to happen? This is going to become, uh, suppose I'm considering it as something gt. This is going to remain same. This is a constant anyways, right? So this is going to remain same. Integration of del t is going to be ut step function. And the point of existence of the step is uh, sorry impulse is going to become the point of existence of step so this is going to be a step at minus 1 okay similarly this is what the integration of this function is going to look like if I just try to sketch this function what happens so at t is equal to minus 1 I am having a step of plus 3 so before t is equal to minus 1 I am going to have value 0 at t is equal to minus 1 step of plus 3 okay which is going to continue till t is equal to 2 right so this step is going to continue till 2 oh, t is equal to 2 at t is equal to 2 we are having a step of minus 5 we are having a step of minus 5 means the final value of this function is going to be minus 2 already we were having a step of 3 now we introduced a step of minus 5 which makes the final value of this function as minus 2 minus 2 right now again I have a step of plus 9 at t is equal to 6 which is going to make the final value of the function as 7 right so this is how integration of this function is going to look like okay this is gt fine so this is how we finding integration of functions now if i ask you to find integration of this function okay this is this is also a function right this is step function now i i suppose it is required to find integration of this function so we know that any function which is consisting of steps if you're going to integrate that you're going to obtain a function of ramp type uh, okay let's just, just perform integration of this function also uh, okay suppose we're calling it as yt what we are going to get this 3 is going to remain same integrating ut we are going to obtain rt right so this is going to be the integration of this function if i just try to sketch it what is going to happen? We are having a step of size 3. Step of size 3 means slope of the line. Okay, Slope of the line which occurs at t is equal to minus 1 is going to be 3. So we are starting at minus 1. We are having a slope of line 3 which is going to continue till t is equal to 2. So we have discussed this. We can find the final value of this line. right? Uh, slope is change in y upon change in x. We have seen this. Okay, uh, So change in x is going to be 3. So accordingly change in y is going to be 9 for the slope to be 3. So this is going to be a line which has final value as 9.
is going to be 9 okay at t is equal to 2 we are having a change in slope which is of minus 5 so the final slope of this line is going to be minus 2 now the initial value of this uh, line was 9 now we need a slope of minus 2 so we are just calculating final value okay and the next slope change occurs at 6 so change in x is going to be 4 So final value at t is equal to 6 is going to be minus 1. Okay. Right. Now at t is equal to 6 we are having a slope change of 9. So the final slope of the line is going to be 9. Okay. And it is going to continue like that only. Uh, Fine, so slope of this line was 3, slope of this line was minus 2 and slope of the line that follows forward, slope of this line is going to be 9. Okay, so this is how integral of this function is going to look like. Similarly, if we just differentiate these uh, functions, see from minus 1 to 2, there was a line of slope. Okay, sorry, line of the slope is going to be 7. Okay, 9 is the change in slope. Okay, 9 is the change in slope. Already we were having a line of slope minus 2. So finally, the slope of the line is going to be 7. So if you just look, uh, look from here, minus 1 to 2, there was a line of slope 3. When I differentiated it from minus 1 to 2, I am having the value of the slope only. Value of the slope was 3. From 2 to 6, the value of the slope was minus 2. So when I am going to differentiate this function, 2 to 6, I am going to obtain the value of the slope which is minus 2. And from 6 onwards, I am going to have the slope as 7. So this is how the differentiation of this function looked like. Okay. If you just differentiate this function also, you are going to obtain the original function. Okay. See, what did that function represent? Only the points where the discontinuity is lying. We are having discontinuities at minus 1, 2 and 6. So, the differentiation of this function is going to contain of 3 impulses. Of what size? Of whatever size the discontinuity is. They, this is a discontinuity of size 3. So, I am going to have an impulse of size 3. This is a discontinuity of size minus 5. Why minus 5? Because originally value was 3, finally it was minus 2. So discontinuity of minus 5 and discontinuity of 9. So differentiation of this function is going to have 3 impulses of sizes 3, minus 5 and 9. Okay, so this is how we are uh, expressing signals as differentiation or integrations of each other. Now the same procedure we are following in discrete time signals also. Okay, we can express them as difference or summation of each other. We are going to look at it now. 